Well, hello there, Smilers, Campers, and general Facebook world. Uh, what an amazing night tonight. I'm missing something. I'm definitely missing something. What am I missing? Oh, shit, Shorty. <laughs> oh, listen, it's awesome, isn't it? Like, I just, I love it. Um, Shorty, both and I, both I, Shorty, and all of our communities always put family first. And tonight, Shorty's at a, a basketball meeting for his daughter, which is just epic. So I'm so grateful to be sitting here tonight. A little bit nervous on my own. I need, I'm missing my sidekick. <laughs> but that's all right. That's all right. Because I've got a plenty to share with you tonight. Because after an amazing weekend, I'm pretty pumped. It's time to reconnect. It's time to bridge the gap. The time is now, and it all starts with a smile. Oh, where do I start? Where do I start? Well, I guess this is an amazing week, and I'm so grateful. We've got so many things going on at the moment that we're just, you know, in a time that, you know, we're, we're having to distance, we're having to get isolate, we're having to do all these bits and pieces because of the opportunity that is COVID. I'm finding ways to connect like no, like no other that I'm just, I'm, I'm so grateful for. And I can't wait tonight to share you with share with you one of those ways that I've connected over the weekend. Hopefully you've seen a few posts popping up. Hey, Serge, how are you, bro? Thank you very much. <laughs> I love you, bro, and I'm looking forward to seeing it. Actually, these earrings, these earrings are from Serge, one of the most beautiful gifts I've ever been given. The man knows me well enough that these are really important to me and bought those for me, and I'm so grateful, mate, for that. It's That's something that I hold in my heart. And on my ears. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, gold. All right, so I'm going to zone in because I've I've got roughly 20 minutes tonight, and hopefully I'll get it all out in that time because I'm I'm just so pumped with what's happened. First things first, Shorty and I are taking the business of Smiles now, and we are turning it into a not for profit. And this has been a journey that it's a whole new ball game for us, and we're learning how to do this, and it's. I'm grateful for Sprint Law, who have come in, stepped in, and given us the opportunity to help us along this journey of setting into a not-for-profit. There's a fair bit of stuff to do that. So that is super exciting because that allows us to get the DRG status, which encourages so we can go to the businesses and we can actually get the corporate sponsorship that we're looking for. Because I tell you what, the difference we're making to people, ourselves, communities, families, I just... I love it. I adore it. I, I, I think it's absolutely magic. And I'm, I can't wait to share with you, which I'm not going to delay anymore, what happened on the weekend because the weekend was amazing. I've got a massive thank you to Young & Co Real Estate, Joy Thompson. Joy Thompson I had the pleasure of actually sitting down with and sharing a bit of heart to heart and learning one another. And I'm so grateful that we did. And the hug I got on my like five is just, oh, Filled my heart. It was amazing. It was just beautiful. David Powell from David Powell's Kitchens met the whole family. It was awesome. And can't thank you enough for bringing us into the community. You know, it was really nice to spend some time with you and actually learn a bit about you because it's important that we reconnect. It's important that we connect with one another. So I'm super pumped about that. Thank you, David. Actually, David's been jumping on the Facebook group and a few likes here and there. So I'm really grateful for that. Uh, Shepherd and Building Supplies also jumped on board and got some socks and got us up into the community. John from Next Tech was also amazing. But the big one for me, Solar City Eco Homes. <laughs> Andrew Marshall from Solar City Eco Homes. I can't thank you enough for what you did. And I'm going to share with everybody in a minute your personal journey, which I've just received this amazing email. And I'm actually going to read it because... Oh, I've got a few tingles at the minute. You'll probably you know, get a few tears out of me because I love this. I love people and I love the way in which we're connecting. And to know that you make a difference to people is a pretty special thing. So I'll get to that in a minute. But I just, Andrea, the effort that you went to, and, and I can't wait to announce some new stuff that's coming up with um, the business of Smiles and the people coming on board because... It's pretty amazing. Um, but I was going to go sideways a little bit. Now, on Saturday, I, I drove up Friday. Uh, so, <laughs> thank you so much to the amazing lady that I met on the way to Shepparton. Um, a woman, 
uh, had a car accident and she was in rich trouble and we stopped and we had sorted out the traffic ground clerk he did a great job of that got the traffic sorted and I had the opportunity to spend some time with this woman who was on her own and just just needed a bit of a leg up just had an accident where she just uh, lost concentration and hit a car and so the car was right off both cars were right off so I drove her home and I spent some time with her I'm hoping she gets to watch this tonight and I just want to say thank you for being you thank you for being honest and thank you for doing your best right now you're worth it hmm. So on the drive up to Shepparton, and I get up to Shepparton, and I was just so pumped to go and see the Marshall family. The Marshall family have been a part of uh, Black Belt, uh, Business Builders Black Belt community for quite some time. And I met them there. So I'm so grateful for communities. And that's what this is all about. It's about our communities. So I get up there and we have an amazing dinner and sit down. I catch up and touch hearts with everybody, which is my favourite thing. And then we took off into the town going out to meet their community to say thank you for being thank you for being here thank you for doing your best right now and the connections we made within the community were just phenomenal i'm so grateful that we had these opportunities where we actually get the chance to connect all it takes is a smile <laughs> which i'll share with you in a minute park run now park run for me on saturday morning i uh, went and did park run with justin and olivia my God, I'm so, I loved it. Park run is such an amazing thing. I've never done it before. I went down there and ran around the, uh, the lake twice and got in amongst the community. But there's a couple of moments that really touched my heart. And the one, oh God, to me, Ray, man, I've got too many things going on in my mind. <laughs> but there's a couple. Ray was amazing. Um, but Sam Birrell, now, Sam Bill is actually running for um, the national seat uh, for the Shepherd and District. And I didn't know him at this time, and he was standing on the corner taking photos. Now, with Park Run, people do volunteering as well as participate in the run. So, part of the Park Run community is they encourage people to volunteer uh, after a certain amount of runs. And I think that's amazing because volunteering is one of the greatest things that I've ever done that's helped me become more human, which for me is, is everything because you're just supporting one another, you know, and we all need that support. We all need that leg up. So that's pretty powerful. So Sam was there with the camera, take some photos, got a few snaps of us running around the park. Um, and then we got to meet him afterwards. And I walked up to him with a pair of socks and I said, I really want to thank you for volunteering. I said, what actually brings you down to park run? Yes, well, I think I've been doing it for years. I think it's a great thing for the community. Like mental and social health is all part of one thing. And if we can get around each other and get a, be a part of the community things, that's that's how we can c connect with one another. And I'm like, dude, that's everything I'm about. So we got in this massive conversation. It was just brilliant. So much so that he bought a T-shirt. I went around to his house. We had a conversation. We talked about communities and how how he could support his community more. And I. I touched on somebody, I said, listen, I've got a, I've got a friend by the name of Peter Murphy, who's federal MP for Dunkley, and I'm so proud of her for going around to all the little places in the community, the croquet club, the lawn bowls, the tennis clubs. She's consistently being at all the little community events. The reason for that is she shares them on all the socials so that her community or our community actually gets to see what's on in your community. One of the biggest things, uh, in our society these days is loneliness. So it's about finding these little communities, go out and try something, do something new. Try, try, have you seen this? Have you been to the croquet? Have you been to the tennis? Have you been to the, there's a knitting club, you know? And I said to Sam, I said, look, that's it's somebody that I really appreciate because that hard work pays off in your community. And I don't know if that's something that you can take on too, but obviously you're a part of the community because you're out and about doing park run. He goes, yeah, physical, mental, social health, tick, tick, tick. And I'm like, yeah, baby, <laughs> that's what we're about. So I love it. So Sam, from me to you, I'm looking forward to catching up again because uh, our conversation was amazing. Um, supporting one another is, is, is everything. So appreciate that. Marshall family, the Marshall family, wow. 
I'm so grateful to Andrea, Justin, Liv and Zoe for having me in their house, bringing me to Shepherd, breaking bread, having food, sitting in their community, reaching out to their community. It's so damn important. But you should fill my heart, you know, like and we, we walk the streets together and we, and we touch more of them. So I'm going to say less of me <laughs> now and I'm going to share with you all. I'm actually going to read it if that's okay, because this email come through and it really hit hard. So in the right kind of way, <laughs> I hope you are smiling. After sharing some smiles and gifting socks, I feel like there was a little more love in the world. The Miles for Smiles journey from Sydney to Melbourne is about helping people through their dark days. It's about handing out 10,000 pairs of socks to spread smiles amongst our communities. These socks are bright yellow with a smiley face. They represent the happiness from the shining sun on our back and from our community around us. But they also have black spots, which represent the dark days, which we all have. <laughs> with a smile, a connection is formed. From a connection, a conversation can start. And from these conversations, we can bridge gaps around mental health. We are bridging a gap in mental health and in ourselves. So I'm very grateful for that. It is with this in mind, I invited Scott to our local Shepparton area to share the I hope you are smiling philosophy. The Miles for Smiles journey was postponed, but in the meantime, I felt it was important to spread the message and engage with communities to start spreading smiles. The experience of walking through our local Victoria Park Lake was heartwarming. Scott and my family were able to connect with people and brighten their day. Scott's ability to reach out to people and listen to their story was amazing. There were so many levels of accomplishment in what we did. The stories were abundant. The connections were felt and people's spirits were lifted. Not just because they were gifted a pair of socks, but because someone took the time to smile and say hello. How are you doing right now? My family set out on Friday night with Scott wearing our Miles for Smiles t-shirts and approached people with a smile and connection. How are you doing tonight? It's amazing how responsive people are when you greet them with a smile. I think the big smiley on our face, <laughs> the big smiley face on our shirts really did help with that. Once the conversation started, we offered to gift our new friends a pair of socks. Some were interested and some were not, but boy, did we get some amazing reactions from those who participated appreciated the small gesture. Each encounter had its own special highlight. Here are some of my stories and interactions. A retired school teacher was delighted to receive a pair of yellow socks. After hearing the sock symbolism, she said she always wore something bright to school if ever she got up in the morning and felt a bit ordinary. She said it would brighten her day and those around her. By gifting two police officers the socks, Scott had a very long interaction with one of the officers. I, I think he really needed to know that there are people out there who care. I'm sure they see a lot of dark moments. It was so nice to know we made a difference to him. I'm going to jump in there for a second because that interaction with the most of my, hey, Paul, how are you, mate? That interaction with the policeman was something amazing. We are all part of one community. Every one of us affects another part of our community but we're all integral parts of our community. And that's the importance of supporting one another because you never know when our incidences can affect somebody else. So having the support and knowledge of knowing someone's there and, and being able to sit with them is just amazing. I'm so grateful for Richard to spend some time and actually got to know each other and for him to share a bit of him I really want to thank him for being involved in stopping things that he knows have caused serious injury to others. I'm proud of him for what he does. I'm proud of him for the man he is. I'm proud of him for being a part of this journey called life because we all have dark days. Thank you, Richard. All right, where was I? <laughs> oh, I love it. So another young guy. Oh, this is a cracker. Another young guy had a... <laughs> I'd really been having a tough time. Um, and the conversation we had with him was pretty awesome. He jumped with joy as we handed him the socks 
and was so excited. He said, you made my beep every day. <laughs> he repeated this so many times. We truly made him feel special by approaching him and chatting. He got a sense that there were people out there that do care. And I'm so grateful for him because I just I got a photo of him, which I'll post up a bit later. But um, standing there with the socks, I've got my arm around him. I've got my backpack on with all the socks on. Put, put his arm around me. And he's had his hand on me bum. <laughs> so I'm getting the photos. Me being me, I didn't flinch at all. <laughs> and then he's realised that I could feel him go, oh. <laughs> Oh, I just had a giggle to myself. <laughs> but then we recognise that and just, you know, like it's it's not, the problem isn't the problem, it's how we respond to the problem. And of course, the, the pain, the lesson of the opportunity. And that opportunity was a big smile because it was bloody funny. But I really hit him in the heart and I really want to say thank you for that. From the park, we ventured onto our local cafe for some breakfast before being seated. A lady who spotted us getting out of the car with our massive smiley shirts on couldn't wait to ask us what the smiley faces were all about. We shared our story and she shared hers. She was new to the town of Shepparton and was thinking she had moved to such a terrible place. The mandatory COVID vaccine policy to enter stores had come about the week she arrived and many stores were far from friendly to manning to see certificates. Without such a friendly greeting, yeah, I assured her that in fact it was a wonderful community. We had a lovely chat about where she had moved from and heard all about her new animal rescue, which was a home, which is awesome. She's running that. And I know the conversation that Scott and I shared put her mind to ease in her new hometown. But I just want to grab a little bit more of that because that's imagine moving into a new town and not knowing anybody. And you go into the town and your first interaction is fear because there's a lot of opportunities around that because <clears throat> I literally just got off the phone with a mate in the business and the, the constant shuffling, shutting, opening, juggling. Everyone's tired. So we're a little bit grumpy because we're not protecting ourselves as way we probably should be. And this lady felt all of that when the place she just moved to, lonely, fear. She saw a smile and she talked to us. And Andrea, you're an amazing human being. What you did for her was just beautiful and the way in which you connected. But just to go and speak to her husband too and share that, sit there and take that time, it's just beautiful. Yeah. So another elderly gentleman was actually, I was, this, this is my proudest moment of the weekend. Sitting down, having breakfast, Andrea's noticed this gentleman sitting on his own. She's moseyed on over to him. Hey, how you doing? Thank you for doing your best right now. Can I gift you a pair of socks? They sat and they shared a moment. The joy that I saw on his face that someone had seen him and actually taken the time to go and talk to him. Thank you, Andrew. You put a smile on my face for that one. <laughs> oh. So to the young waitress who asked about her T-shirts and couldn't wait to wear her smiley socks to work tomorrow, I got a sense that the smiles were catching on and starting to spread. <laughs> oh, here we go. There, was, there were numerous other encounters, encounters I had, each of their own special meaning and, each, and every one of them bring a smile and connection. Through the help of local businesses and individuals donating socks, we were able to gift many socks. Each business which donated socks was so thankful to hear of the tasks we we're undertaking and we're grateful for the opportunity to help spread smiles and make someone's day a little brighter. This one will go straight into the fields. <laughs> for my whole family who joined Scott to give socks, it truly was a rewarding experience to connect to other human beings and listen to their stories. In a time where social connection seems all but lost, I can truly say we should take a moment to smile at a stranger and don't be afraid to say hello. Sometimes all we need is to hear someone to greet us or to be by our side with a smiling face so that we know they care. Thank you to Scott, who has an amazing gift to listen and understand people. Your work is truly amazing. I hope we can invite you back again to share more smiles. In fact, my hope is that every community invites you in to share some smiles. Imagine if we multiplied this experience. It's my dream to multiply this experience. It's my dream to connect with you all, 
bridge that gap because we're all worth it. <laughs> we really are. You know? There's so much to share. There's so much good in the world. There's so much love in our hearts. I can't wait to touch yours. I hope I do. I can't wait for you to touch mine. Which you do by commenting, by sharing the journey. Let's walk this together. Yeah? It's time to reconnect. It's time to bridge the gap. Tom is now. That's all done with a smile. <laughs> For me to you, I've got to go. I've got something super, super exciting, which I'm just about to jump into. And I can't wait. I can't wait to be a part of it. I can't wait to support and to care and to love and to just be present with people because we're all worth it. Tonight, I'm just, I'm pumped. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being a part of us, <laughs> Shorty. <laughs> Thank you for being a part of the journey of the business of smiles because it works. We make a difference when we work together, support one another. All right. From me to you, take care, and I can't wait to see you next week. All right, take care, people. Where's that bloody button? <laughs> they all get it on, I don't know.